Hey YouTubers, this is the Titanfall Princess. First off, I want to thank everyone that watched my live stream and hit the like button. All the people that stuck with me through all the bullshit from the haters and cheered me on. I want to say fuck all you fake subs and people that want to be like me, the Titanfall Princess. Or should I say as you call me, Titanfall Pony, Titanfall Flip Flopper. Yesterday was a bad day overall, starting off with... Lionhead Studios and Fable Legends getting cancelled to personal th things that happened to me. And Lionhead Studios wasn't the only studio getting closed down. Now I'm gonna keep it real. Cause I real- I, I remember when I first got my feet wet and appeared on Iron Wolf's Direct X podcast and becoming a regular on Xbox Nation. I can't say Poppy 2 ks podcast although I was on a few episodes. He covers all gaming platforms and just talks gaming. I'm sure you somebody will hate that. I'm gonna talk about Xbox for a change and get back to what what I was talking about. So anyway, back when Iron Wolf and I gamed and the guys were around in chat, Iron Wolf would talk Xbox this and Xbox that, and we would talk exclusives, and it was a good time, especially when Iron Wolf talked about coming up upcoming games and e3 and xbox stuff and here's what bothers me about the past four months i've been in this community active live on youtube as i'm saying people like people like zaire iron wolf crap blazing phoenix tim dog and others and myself keep this xbox community going i don't care if you love us like us hate us or don't give a shit about us we make videos and do the podcast because we love a product. And there's nothing wrong with that. And not just any product. A console we gamed on. That hand our asses in in Halo, Gears, Forza, Killer Instinct, so many other games. All the time put, it, put in to earning achievements, chatting with your friends, playing with your friends and all that cool shit. You know, like the Xbox community helps each other out. We help each other buy games and beat games and get better at games. And it's so sad what's going on right now. I just don't understand it. I get so many questions in a day asking me about Microsoft. And I don't have the answers. Guys, I wish I did, but I don't. Because I don't understand a direction. I'm just as clueless as you are. Maybe things are going to get much worse before they get better. Or maybe it's just going to get better. I don't know. But to spend $500 at launch, go to YouTube and watch Next Gen React to E3 Live and get all hyped for games coming out and those games are cancelled or downgraded to bullshit, I don't get it. We don't deserve this as an Xbox community. And Microsoft are slowly being, sh but surely, getting out of touch with their hardcore fans and getting in touch with anti-Xbox people. Figure that out. Name me one time you ever seen Yoshida say Gears looks good. Or tell me the last time Reggie from Nintendo hyped Uncharted 4. You're not going to find it. Yes, gaming is gaming. When your product is failing, you don't do shit like that. Okay? Say that slow and tell you that because that's what it means. You're not going to see Pepsi be like, Oh, Coca-Cola tastes dope. Ever see that? Hope you guys get my point. I'm just sick of a lot of shit. All the damage control from Microsoft and motherfuckers hyping up Multiplat. When the fuck have we as Xbox gamers ever hyped a Multiplat? Now you got people up the Division's ass. You have Microsoft fire Don Matrix because he told the truth. But nothing said when Phil, a CEO of Xbox, praises Uncharted 4. When the Xbox is doing bad right now. No sales figures. Xbox, Xbox Live, excuse me, has been has been down and up. Then limited. Then down again. Why? Meanwhile, I can play... Yes, uh, play, PlayStation, the Street Fighter V on play, PlayStation all day. I can play Killzone Shadowfall all day. I can play Guilty Gear all day. I can play Roforce all day. 
just to name a few. Oh, and so me, for me keeping it Xbox, I got called a man. I got called a tranny. I've been in the corporate slave awards. I had my voice downsampled to sound like someone on how to catch a predator and all that shit. Yep, all that shit I personally talked about with Phil about on Xbox Live. I got no apologies from people making videos about me except for two of them, which I do appreciate. Then when it's all over, I don't know. I'm like, what did I do it for? But I know what I did it for. I did it for the Xbox community because I still love the Xbox community. But when you, but now you can't even say keep it Xbox anymore, because Xbox is becoming somewhat sketchy. Not to casual gamers, mind you, but definitely to the hardcores like me. To the people that own every Halo game like me. To the people that own every Gears game like me, to those people that bought every Forza, love some arcade, and got rewards for achievements, to the people that go out and buy two and three years worth of Xbox Live cards and do giveaways. It bothers me. And we, and we have every right to be a little pissed off at the direction Xbox is going, okay? I'ma keep it real. If Xbox don't blow us away at E3, okay? They're gonna have to escort one angry Irish bitch out the fucking building. I'm telling you right now. This is not the Xbox we grew up with. The motherfuckers need to quit lying and stop damage controlling. How do you go from a console like the Xbox 360, which is one of the best, if not the best consoles of all time to the Xbox One, and all this fucking bullshit. Taking away our avatars. Fucking up the marketplace. Canceling exclusives. Hyping multiplats. A fan base not buying exclusives on it. A boss smiling with all the shit when all the shit happens. And trying to turn a console into a PC. If this was Sony, you'd have motherfuckers bassing the shit out of them. But when it's Microsoft, we want a damage control. Man, shut the fuck up already. I'm sick of it. I remember talking to Iron Wolf almost a month ago about this very same shit going on. And yeah, I know people don't like crap, but he's right. And you know I hate to admit when crap's right, okay, if he's right. But it's fucked up. It really is fucked up that he was made the fall guy, okay? And pretty much told not to react to something he didn't like. We all did. Okay? Just like it's fucked up for me and the boys get all this bullshit all the time because it's the fun thing to bash Microsoft or fuck with you because you fuck with Xbox. Y'all dig what I'm saying? I hope so. If this is the Titanfall Princess. I'm out of here. Bang, bang. Uh-huh. Later, dudes.